Looks like I have a couple stains, but um, that doesn't mean I'm gonna button down my shirt. The story begins with us waiting for Felicia. Like every day, it does take a while for her to get ready. Uh, she says she does a lot of things, which is true, but uh, her nature is slow, so we wait. Today is a special day because unlike all the other vlogs we've done, I was wearing a hat. Today, I'm not wearing a hat. And that's because I'm gonna buy a new hat. Preferably a trucker style hat with the mesh at the back and something Mexican on the front, like Corona. I don't know, John Deere would work. I've seen a lot of hats out here, so I'm looking to spend 60 pesos, which is like less than five dollars, four or five dollars, depending on which currency. We're going to a place called the La Merced. La Merced is the biggest traditional Mexican market here in Mexico City and we're heading out now for a bite to eat because we're hungry and it's lunchtime. And this will be different from the last vlog where we showed you the more fancy neighborhood of Mexico City because this is a really local market and where the locals go to shop and it'll probably be really crowded so we're hoping we'll be able to get some good footage for you guys and show you what it's like here in a Mexican market. bunch of vendors and they're selling everything that you could imagine. something called horchata? No, no. Huaraches. It's like a big taco. It's big, so I don't really know. I feel like you have to fold it or maybe... They don't give you a fork, so... We decided to take a rip out of it. We're trying to find a good place to film, but everyone's so loud. Everyone's selling something, screaming, yelling. There's music playing to sell DVDs, music. People are yelling, pollo, chicken, chicken. These guys with the uh, dollies carrying things, they're, they're basically just runners that uh, they're a transport service that just run things to and from other businesses. It looks like we found the party aisle of the market. There are tons of pinatas and decorations, invitations, balloons. Toys. There's all sorts of stuff. Someone's excited to see me. We just got back, or I just got back, 
Felicia went to pick up some chicken and some pork chops. But let me tell you one thing. They're not that good. They're all a little beaten up, but uh, what happened was Felicia, she's the nicest person in the world. The nicest. But maybe she's stubborn, maybe I'm stubborn, I don't know. This guy that we bought the strawberries off, the sign says 25. When we try and give him 25, he says 30. And he says, no, these ones are 25, these ones are 30, but there's only one sign. So naturally, I get frustrated with the guy. I want to, I, I, I kind of argue with him. And Felicia almost is getting frustrated and a little bit upset with me because I'm arguing with the guy. She doesn't want to upset that guy's feelings by me arguing with him. So I'm the, you know, the asshole for arguing with him. So she's just too nice. I don't know what to do. I just can't win. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm still stuck with my lucky Cabo San Lucas hat because it's the biggest market we've ever been to, but I only saw one really okay hat shop. So till another day, I'm stuck with my Cabo San Lucas hat. I'm not sure what Wes said already, but we're back from the market now and I just finished doing some grocery shopping here. Uh, we didn't get to finish filming at the market just because a local advised us to, or he suggested that we should put the camera away and so we thought best to listen to the locals and we didn't want anything to happen and so we just enjoyed the rest of the afternoon walking through the market. There's a ton of stuff and there were even things like arcades and uh, it was just a little bit chaotic but it was a lot of fun to see and explore some of the Mexican culture in the markets. So we did get some other stuff and we have enough for dinner and maybe we will show you guys what we end up making. We've got some peppers, some sweets for dessert, some potatoes, the strawberries that Wes thinks we got ripped off with, and some pork chops. All of this was actually just under $10, so I think we did okay at the market. In the end, we had a pretty great afternoon, and we always love exploring the markets when we're traveling because all of them are really different from each other, but in some ways they're pretty much the same. But it's a lot of fun to walk through and see what you can find, and we will see what we get up to next. Me and Felicia are like a team, right, Phil? Are you gonna do the dishes or not? <laughs>